between the, the adapter and bayonet design to the spring design and material, there's probably combined like 30 different different options that we had out there. So it's definitely uh, went through the gamut of options, but definitely excited and happy about how it turned out. Kind of all started with defining the problem, right? So we got together with um, you know me and Eric and the designers and the, t the product team got together and, and defined like what the real issue is with the current uh, interface and what we wanted to solve. What we were trying to solve from the last one is make the interface a lot more robust and reliable. We removed the metal on metal aspect of the interface and made it all like a plastic and uh, rubber housing on the case. You get this pressure fit that gives a lot better feel than the metal on metal of the current interface. From there, it's getting like the bigger prototypes, the two, the two times prototype to really kind of see if that feel is there, refine again, get like kind of work our way down to like a concept that we like, fit it in like the case and then making it as small as possible and like sleek as possible. We really want to make it so attaching a lens is just like attaching a lens to like a regular DSLR, make it as strong as possible, have that confidence that it's not going to pop off. So the idea with the spring clip is you rotate it into place, uh, it displaces the spring out of the way, and then kind of snaps back into place, and then holds at the, on, the, on the bayonet tab, holds it in place. So um, it's not a lot of added pressure to rotate it off, but you can definitely, it's, it's definitely more secure than just the regular like pressure fit um, typical interface. Since the spring clip is metal, there is still a little bit of that metal on metal, so we didn't want to get this feeling that you're getting like this grinding of the metal. We didn't want the lens to be wearing out or the spring to be wearing out, so we kind of went through a lot of different iterations to really make sure like the feeling of rotating in and out is great. The rubber on the case kind of creates like that, uh, fills the gap in between on the, on, on the interface, so when you rotate it into place, it kind of like compresses a little bit. So dialing that in to make sure that like compression is just right and it's not too hard and um, there's a lot, a lot of like iterations on getting these really like small details that most people probably wouldn't think about or like you know realize like what how small these little gaps are that really are creating that like good feeling of the interface. When we first were kind of getting into the design of the interface, uh, once we got far enough along and realized kind of what about like the size of the interface is going to be, we started really diving into how we can make uh, customers with the V1 lenses able to use the V2 cases in the product line. And that's when we started working on developing of the, the V2 adapter. So then it was kind of the next steps was, okay, what does the user experience look like for when they get this adapter? Like how do they attach it to their lens? So it was kind of defining, uh, defining that and figuring out like how solid we could make this thing. So we went through again another probably 15, 16 different design options. Uh, what we ended up with was an adhesive option. It ends up being a lot stronger than I was initially anticipating. Um, so it's kind of adhesive with a little bit of a press fit interference that uh, creates this, this, this really strong little metal piece that you can put on the bottom of your lens. So definitely very excited about the new interface and I think customers will be too. It's going to be uh, a lot more improved and uh, yeah, people should be excited about it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay.